we've come to a local man-made pool where yesterday we saw a load of damselflies. So I'm going to see if I can get a shot of a damselfly. Now it's not the best conditions, it is midday if you want damselfly images. Probably best going out in the morning, but we've come out in the middle of the day. So because we are in the middle of the day, we're going to be using flash to freeze the action. Now I'm going to expose my camera so that there is literally a blank picture. You can't see any ambient light. That way the only lights on the damselflies will be coming from my flash. That is the way I shoot in midday sunlight. It's a great way of being able to do it because you don't have to get up in the morning if you don't want to. However, like I did say, if you want those killer portfolio shots of damselflies, get up in the morning, it's a lot easier. Let's get going. We're gonna have a look at these pools. There's a, it's one big pool. There's a bridge that's broken, so we're gonna have to be very careful going over there. And I'm gonna take a walk around the pool see what I can find a photograph and I'll bring you along with me. So there's a lot of activity on this plant here, a lot of flies that are buzzing around. I don't think I'm going to get very close to these flies, so what I'm going to do is take a more wider shot, so I'm going to further back and then what I'll do is I will keep getting closer and closer until the fly decides he's had enough and goes away. So my settings for this macro adventure is going to be 1 200th of a second. I'm at f8 at ISO 100. I am using my Canon ESR with the lower 100mm lens, the Godox MF12 twin macro flash along with my custom made Crafty Bell diffuser. So let's uh, see what shots we can get of these flies. I don't know if I got that shot of that fly because the, um, the leaf's bouncing up and down. And when you're in these type of magnification range, it's a little bit of movement. It's a lot of movement for a macro photographer to deal with. I'm not gonna try and hold the branch. I'm not gonna get like uh, some sort of wig to hold it. I'm just gonna keep shooting until I'm happy. I've got something that I like. Now I'm not really a big fan of the black background in macro. So I might try turning these shots into a black and white image so that the black background works in my favour. This is as close as I can get physically to the subject because there's a basically a mud patch down here. So what I'm going to do, because I am on mirrorless, uh, if you're not on mirrorless, switch to live view mode. That is basically a mirrorless mode. And I can hold my camera out. I'm going to set the magnification to one to one. And I'm literally going to hold it out stretch it out until I get a shot that I like. Yeah, your hit and miss ratio is going to be a lot higher when you hold out the camera rather than looking for your EVF. But if you physically can't get to the, uh, the fly, then that's all you're going to have to do. Okay, so I think I've outstayed my welcome with this plant. So we're going to walk around the pool and see what else we can find. Yeah, that did just happen. Damselfly landed on the diffuser. I can't get anywhere near the damselflies to take a picture, but they will land on the camera, which is a little bit awkward. But we'll keep trying, we'll keep trying. There's a lot of damselflies all around this area. There's a lot of flies, there's a lot of activity. Unfortunately, it's all on the plants that are on the surface of the water, and I can't actually get to the location to get the shot. I'm gonna hang around in this area for an hour or so and just see if anything lands by me, for me to be able to photograph. So as in typical fashion that happens a lot of time when doing macro photography, I've had a damselfly land on the camera. 
Yesterday a damselfly landed on my hand. Here's a shot of that particular damselfly. So it's, uh, it was quite brave. But when you've got your macro gear out, they just don't want to play ball. So far they're landing all in front of me here, but in a position that I physically cannot get to to take the shot. Like in uh, most cases, sometimes when you go out to, to do this, sometimes you can't get the shot that you actually want. We've got some good fly shots, but we still haven't got the damsel fly shot that we wanted. That's the best shot I've got so far. We'll keep trying, but they're being very elusive. So because they are so far away from me, I've turned my flashes off because the flash uh, light isn't even going to reach them. But unfortunately, this is a situation where I don't have the right gear for the right situation. If I had a 400 millimeter lens, I could get that shot of that damselfly quite well. But unfortunately, I don't have that equipment with me. I don't even own a 400 mil lens. Maybe it's something I should stick on the uh, wish list on Amazon. But for now, I'm just going to keep trying because eventually one of them is going to let me get close. So we have a, um, a damselfly here that loves to sit on this As I was saying, there's a damselfly that likes to sit on that particular leaf just there. And I'm trying to get a shot of him. So what I've done is because I can't get my physical body into position, I've set my lens to half life size on the magnification. I've set all the flashes to TTL because I can't physically see the screen to know if it's in um, focus, if it's the exposure's good. So we're literally just letting the camera do its work. I'm gonna go to, one two hundredth of a second, f10, so I'm going to try and maximise the, um, the depth of field. I don't want to go too far because I don't want to have a diffraction kicking in, having it going soft. And I'm at ISO 400, I've put the flashes on TTL, let them do their job, and what I'm going to do is just lean out when he lands and just start taking pictures and just hope to God we get one that is in focus. Very hard to see them, they're quite camouflaged quite well, even though they're bright colours. Unless they move, they are hard to find. Happy with not shots that are going to go in my portfolio. But the good news is we have found a local pond that got a lot of damselflies. And this is a possible good location for us to come down early in the morning and get some of those early morning natural light macro shots. We will be doing a video about that, so subscribe to the channel if you're looking forward to seeing that video. But for now, I'm going to leave the damselflies. I'm going to go back up the trail where we came. What we did see there coming on the way down is a rhododendron bush. It's got lots of flowers on it. We're going to go and see what we can find on that rhododendron bush for us to photograph. So we've arrived at the rhododendron bush. There's lots of bees, lots of activity on here. And I'm gonna see if I can get a picture of some of these insects. So I'm currently at one two hundredth of a second on the shutter speed, F8 on my f-stop, ISO 400 and TTL on the flashes again. Let's see what we can photograph. You see a great image you do, yeah? You lift your camera up to get the shot and all of a sudden the beetle or whatever you see your photograph just drops off. It's very irritating when that happens. Well 
that's it for this macro walk. Unfortunately, we didn't find any decent images for our portfolio. That's just the way these things sometimes happen. Last year and in previous years, I would have deleted this video because I'm not getting a decent image. But I feel like this video could be a nice teaching point for new macro photographers just to show and demonstrate that sometimes things don't go according to plan and sometimes you just don't get your shot. On the plus point, we did find a nice location for damselflies for some early morning macro shots. So subscribe if you are looking forward to that video. If you've enjoyed this video, then let me know in the comments below. Give it a like, give it a subscribe. It really does help the channel to grow. If you want to support me further, you can join me on Patreon where you get bonus content, raw files and behind the scenes files. You can also buy me a coffee if you wish to do so. All the links are in the description. But for now, that's where I shall leave it. My name's Stuart Wood. And again, as always, I'll see you on the next video. With no flash, it will literally be black. <laughs> Goddamn birds. So there's a lot of activity on this plant here. A lot of flies that are buzzing around. Until I press record and then they all but, you know, we'll wait. <laughs> You f just about to press f oh god, leave him alone. He doesn't want to shag, yeah? Leave him to have his picture taken, then you can rape him if you want to. Huh? Yeah, I can't see him. That's typical, as soon as I'm finished, that's all here to photograph. As well as a buy me a copy, buy me a copy. <laughs> buy me a copy of what, Playboy? <laughs>